Well, first impression uh, for squareness is okay. My precision square here. Just buck it up like so. Mm, seems to be almost there, but we have to make, of course, um, better uh, measurements before we also glue it up. I'm also trying a new method here uh, to, to read the squareness. First of all, I've put up uh, this block here, square to the 90 degrees, perpendicular might be the uh, word here, to the bed, and this surface is even. And then I just tuck this surface to be tested, this one, to the bed like so, and I put this also to the dovetail. Of course, the, this um, uh, requires that the dovetail is okay, and it is. And I'll just tuck it against the surface there and then move it back and forth to see if I have zero zero reading. Of course, this movement is then just as the same plane as this one. And I set zero somewhere here. Like so, for example, there, and then I run up here, let's see, just finding zero again, and then I run up, and I see it falls off by seven hundredths of a millimeter, or does it rise? It falls off. So that means uh, kind of exaggerated. Falls off there and gets higher here, meaning that I have no, it fall fell off that way, so it's exaggerated that way. So it's a little bit crooked that way. So that means um, that I can shim to find out exactly how much because if I then have a one to one arm um, this to the length I have here, so I have one to one so uh, in this way I can also find out how much I should scrape off in this case let's assume that I put in a seven or eight uh, hundredths of a millimeter shim and then measure again and this is then exactly parallel and I know I have to scrape off here that amount. So now I have uh, introduced a shim here on that side, uh, corrected uh, for the, um, let's say the, the fault, so that when I run the indicator now, it remains at zero or thereabouts. Quite, quite okay. Possibly a more understandable setup here, uh, just um, uh, snugging up the angle here, the precision uh, square I have to the bed because this is thick enough to run the indicator against and then just going up to the angle here, tucking down this, this is uh, just holding this firmly here and then running this up and down You get an idea how square this is to the waist. And um, I find that I can get it dead on if I want to. This is presumably okay, but still have a little bit of movement. So, one hundredth of a millimeter, I guess we can see down here if you tuck it from here to here it's almost two so over this length here I have somewhat of an error but not much and then the rear side here 
it's not pretty uh, okay um still have a little bit here that doesn't uh, uh that doesn't bear and then here also a little bit more needed down here so i'm just working that so those are my objectives so to speak um yeah and then of course then also to to run um these corners so that i know that i'm down that can be done on the bed here but also then on the on the granite and of course the, the way i work with this then uh, this length here is that i introduce shims on the side that is um, uh, needed to correct the for the travel so that this is now uh, depending on the shim here running uh, parallel to the um, to the precision uh, flat here and then i know how much i will scrape off on the other side uh, i mean if there was on this side i do that and then you can scrape off on this side afterwards but just measure with the shims here how much uh, not really needed but at least i like to do it that way so that i know uh, which way it is also tilting before i do any scraping I have a little bit of work to do to perfect this. Um, still shy over here, so I'll keep on scraping. canals I just make like this and trace them with pen first but then also with the screwdriver uh, making the slot here uh, kind of a circular slot just ground at an angle uh, 